everybody welcome back thank you for joining me for another video uh, so did you see that intro I'm super excited to be doing a collaboration with the Massey boys uh, from Massey Art Studio so stay tuned and mark your calendars for April 18th it's going to be fun so three artists and 27 canvases and 27 colors so that's all I'm going to say. If you want to tune in and see what's going on with that, you're going to have to tune in on uh, April 18th to check that out. All right. So really quickly, uh, I wanted to show you guys, a lot of people are asking me about the merch. Um, as I mentioned, you can find that on Instagram. You can also uh, find that on my Facebook. I know not everybody's on Instagram. I think everybody's on Facebook, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to do a quick, quick rundown. But before I do that, I wanted to show you guys still in progress, still in designing stages. Um, this is just a um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it off the top of my head, um, but we are still working on the aprons. So these are the waterproof aprons and um, there is going to be my KC. Uh, and it's got this really cool metallic and I really like the metallic. I'm like, ooh, can we do the metallic on the, it is what it is. So this is kind of what it's going to look like. It's still, we're still ironing out the details and I will have uh, an idea on price and all that. Um, just give me some more time. We're still working on it, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Um, it's hard to get things and find things now because we are in full and I mean full lockdown. Um, nothing aside from supermarkets is open. It's just, we're back to square one. So um, I wanted to show you guys, don't forget, I've got the uh, 20 ounce tumblers. There's also the multicolor one, which I don't have here right now, but we have the purple, um, it says it's so pretty. And then the blue one says, look at that shimmer. Um, so you've got the tall tumblers, then you've got the wine tumblers. So here's the multicolored one and here's a blue one and I have a purple one, just not here. So there's the wine tumblers. Then we have the 15 ounce mugs. I have a purple one now. So here's the blue one um, saying, look at that shimmer and then the purple one with it's so pretty. So there are the 15 ounce mugs. Uh, magic mugs, although the contest is over, you can still purchase a magic mug if you are interested. So magic mugs are also still available. Um, pillows, we have the 18, 12 by 18 inch throw pillow. So that's available and you can get it in purple too. It doesn't have to be blue. You can get it in purple and you have the 16 um, by 16 inch I don't have a pillow case, a pillow in it, but you have the 16 by 16 inch pillow case. Again, you can get that in purple as well. Then you have the awesome sequin flip pillow. I'm trying to find where the bottom is uh, here, but you may have seen it in one of my last videos. So, and guess what? I'm getting it in purple. There's going to be purple. I'm so excited. So there's going to be a purple sequin flip pillow as well. That is coming soon. Um, probably I'll be able to get it next week. So you'll see a purple flip sequin pillow. Um, don't forget the uh, aprons. So we have the matchy matchy aprons. So these are available as well. And it comes in purple. I don't have one on hand uh, right now. So you've got the apron. Then you have the standard pillowcase. There you go, standard pillowcase, which you can put on your bed as like a pillow sham. And I finally got it in purple and I wanted to show it to you in purple. This is what the purple one looks like. So I can't see. So it now comes in purple as well. So you can get a standard pillowcase in purple as well. Uh, 315 piece puzzle. The thousand piece puzzle is still MIA. It is missing. We have no idea. Now they're telling us another five weeks. So I'm really sorry to the handful of you who have ordered the thousand piece puzzle. 
I'm just gonna have to wait a little longer, but I have the 350, uh, 315 piece um, masks, face masks. Got your face mask. It's so pretty. I love these. I wear these every day and uh, they wash. They wash really well. So that is the purple one and the blue one. <laughs> so we've got the face masks and then of course we've got the wood rounds so we have the just shy of 12 inch we have the 11.75 we've got the 10 inch we've got the 8 inch we've got the 4 inch square we've got the 4 inch circle there's the 4 inch circle and the two and a half inch circle which are great for magnets so those are the wood pieces um, I think that's all I wanted to show you. I think that's all I wanted to tell you. Um, I'm trying to think. Nope, I think that's it. I am packing up the last of the Magic Mug orders. Uh, I sent uh, the first half out uh, yesterday. Uh, Lucas came with me and we went to the post office and filled four shopping carts and took them into the post office. Um, luckily they didn't give me the stink eye and weren't mad at me for bringing in four full shopping carts. So I'm working on the second half. Uh, you will be notified by email once it is dropped off at the post office. So thank you to everyone who has been ordering merch. Um, it's, I cannot thank you guys enough for all the love and the support. All right. I am going to set myself up. I'm going to bring you guys down on the canvas. And we are going to get started on today's pour. Be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so let's get started here tonight. So I'm going small. I've been doing so many big canvases lately. I'm running out of space to stash them for now, especially with like all the merch boxes and everything kicking around. So I'm going small today. And this is a 20 inch round. And I am going to be using a split color. Now we are going to be using the white by Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Flow Troll and water. And all my paints are mixed with Flow Troll and water. And then the other half of the base is going to be a color I've never used before. Um, it's one of the colors I ordered from Amsterdam and I really liked it. It's Naples Yellow Red by Amsterdam. But what I did was I lightened it up. As you can see, here you go, you can see, I did lighten it up um, with some white paint because um, I wanted it to be a little lighter. So we are going to do that. I'm going to get the canvas flooded. You can see now I've already done my little composition here. Now there's no wispies on this one. Um, because uh, it's just not big enough and I kind of want this to be all white and this to be the Naples yellow. So I'm just going to start by doing a bead of white with my squeeze bottle here. So now I have my template of where I'm going to pour my base. So in the last video, I sped you guys up. And a lot of you were like, no, don't speed us up. We like watching that. But thing is that thing, you know, on big canvases, that takes me a good like five, maybe 10 minutes to do. So I won't speed you guys up on this one. Instead, let's do story time. I don't know what kind of stories to tell you guys. Here, I'll tell you a story. Did you know, for those of you who don't want to hear my story time, feel free to fast forward. Use the timestamps in the description below to fast forward this part of the video, okay? Please, if you don't want to hear what I have to say, just fast forward. So, did you know that prior to um, doing paint and all of that, when I had Lucas and I was on mat leave for a year, I decided to start my own cake business. So I was a cake maker slash decorator and um, it was fun. It was exhausting, um, way more exhausting than painting because, you know, people wanted cakes, you know, Fridays, Saturdays, you know, weekends for parties, right? 
So I'd be baking till like 2, 3 a.m. in the morning with a newborn. I was up anyway. You got to feed the kid, right? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it was, it was pretty exhausting because it's not like you can make a cake on Monday and, and be like, okay, it's Saturday. You can come pick it up now. Uh, no, they have to be as, as fresh as possible. But anywho, that lasted for about mm, maybe a year and a half, two years. And then Sophia came along and then just life got way too busy with two little kids and, and baking. So that got put to an end, but I will put up some pictures up here while I'm doing this. So then you guys can see some of the cakes I made while I was doing this venture. Ugh. So you can see some of those pictures being put up right now while I am doing this um, base color here of white. So I'll be done in a minute. And for those of you who want to know how I mix my paints for my Dutch pour, my recipe for my Dutch pours, check out video number 63. I will link it up here at the top. For those of you who are new watching, welcome to my channel. Um, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. That would be very nice if you would do that. And uh, yeah, check out video number 63 for the ratios and tutorial on how I mix my paints. All right, I'm going to clean off my spatula which you can find on Amazon in my Amazon links. Description in the li links are listed in the description below. All right. I hear a dog barking outside. Doesn't sound like mine. They were at doggy daycare today. I let them um, have a day at doggy daycare while I met up with Serena to pick up some more merch. Wow, I made some, you know, I always worry I'm not going to make enough base color and then I make too much, but you're better off with too much than not enough because then you won't have the exact color if you need extra. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to pop my bubbles with my torch because there's lots of bubbles. All right. Let's torch all the bubbles. All right, and Echo's birthday is coming up on Monday. He is turning one, the big one. All right, colors. So I've got five colors here and three are which I have never used before. So this should be fun. We have Mauve by Holbein. I don't think I've used this, maybe I have. I definitely haven't used this because I just mixed it today. This is Copper by Amsterdam. Such a beautiful, rich color. This one I haven't used. This is Quinacridone Crimson by Holbein. And then of course, 24 karat gold, full to the top. I filled some of my bottles up today. And topping it off, we have Windsor Violet by Windsor and Newton. So those are the colors. I wanted to go bold this time. Do you remember I did the light blue pastel and then the pastel colors and it was okay. Um, but uh, I wanted to do bold colors on this one. So let's do that and hope it turns out pretty. All right, this uh, copper looks really nice. Oh, we got some watery goop from my initial mixing. Now, Oh, I closed it. I'm like, why isn't it coming out? Oh, see, that's a nice color. That's a beautiful color against the Naples yellow. Ooh, this one's going to be interesting. Quinac and just make sure there's no goop on that one either. All right. Oh, that's, that's going to be nice. And of course, 24 karat gold. Now this one I am going to, yeah, see this one's spewing out a lot because it's full to the brim. I'm going to try not to put too much gold because we all know how the gold likes to take over. And then we have the Windsor Violet. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, the colors look good. I have a feeling it'll blow out pretty, providing I blow it out properly. 
so we shall see. More bubbles. What are these specks? What are these specks in my paint? What did I just, what? I thought they were bubbles, but they look like black specks. Did that fall off one of my bottles? Or, oh, there's a dog hair in there. I'm just a mess. I got it. That's really bizarre. Where did all these black specks come from? I'll have to play with those after. Okay, let's blow this out. So I am going to start here. Here, 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 and then figure the rest out. But I'm really liking the colors. All right, let's go. Wow, I love the colors, they're so pretty. It really mixed so well. I love it, I guess I didn't have to really play with those specks because I kind of blew everything over, over the specks. Um, wow, I really like it. It's so pretty. There's a lot of white cells happening here. Let's blow some of this over. Let's see here. All right, my nose was itchy there. white cells popping up that's crazy wow the copper is so pretty all right now i'm gonna blow over here i'm really liking this naples color i really like it okay i'm gonna fidget over here a bit Wow, I'm loving this. It's like the perfect amount of white negative space with the perfect amount down here. And I love the fact, you'll see it on the close up, how the Naples yellow red, is that what it's called? Yes, Naples yellow red. It's almost like it's under the petals and the petals have like taken that color. Now there's some color in here and I'm wondering if I should torch just this little petal here because I can see, oh yeah, there was some dark purple under there. Yep. Okay, I'm not torching anything else. I don't want like microscopic, there's already enough cells and everything happening here. So I am going to just fix my sides here really quickly. I don't think I need, maybe I do, I'll check. But I'm going to fix those and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So don't forget to take your stick, your bamboo stick or whatever stick. And don't forget to scrape those drips. It is super duper important. I have to get that. See that? No good. I didn't see that. I'll fix that after. Got to fix those too. Do not leave those showing that's a big no no there we go all right oh gosh i'm not even paying attention to holding the camera the phone it's hard to do things talk and do things at the same time sorry okay so scrape your drips don't forget okay so there it is now let's bring you in for a pretty close-up now do you see the petals here how the um naples yellow has like, is like underneath it. 
And then look at this petal. It's got a border around it. It's really pretty. There's definitely a lot of shimmer in here. And the white produced a lot of cells, which is so bizarre. So it's obviously mixed with some sort, one of these paints and has created like a plethora of white cells, but I actually really like them. And there's the bottom. Wow, that was quick. The big ones take so much longer. Okay, so there you have it. Let me put on the flash and turn off the studio lights. All right, so let's check out the shimmer. And there it is. This whole thing's gonna have shimmer in it for sure. 24 karat gold. And then that, was it copper? Yeah, I think it was copper but it's so pretty. So this piece is available for purchase. If anyone is interested in this uh, piece, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. If you are interested in purchasing any of the merch, I forgot to mention, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. Look at that. I really like this color. I might have to do another one like this. It's really pretty. Okay, let's turn the lights back on. All right, everybody, so that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. And as I mentioned, if you're interested, you know what to do. Email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. Um, and again, if you are a new watcher, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, for those of you who have been heading over to my son's YouTube channel, Thank you so much for checking out his videos. Um, you can check out his videos at Lucas Seraco. And if you are not subscribed, uh, that would be, he would love it if you would subscribe to his channel. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, I don't really have anything else, I don't think. So that is it for me, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.